Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with old world game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer once. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file for this. Go to Steam, then click on library. And over here, find your old world game. So make a right click on old world game. And um, this is just for an example. So make a right click on old world game and then select properties. Now go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the old world game. This is just an example. Make a right click on old world, then select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, it will take you to the game installation folder. In my case, it's in C drive. So open the game folder. So I'm showing you with different games. So over here, you will find your old world game folder. So open your old world game folder and then make a right click on the exe file of old world game and then select properties then go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and try to launch the game from the game installation folder so make a double click and then launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card from the list so make sure that you select the right graphic card so select your graphic card over here in my case i have selected my graphic card you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system from here in my case it's windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 then click on start search now once you click on start search scroll down the top one is generally GeForce game ready driver right now it is showing nvidia studio driver so i will download GeForce game ready driver this is the latest one so on the top you might see GeForce game ready driver so download the latest version so click on get download and then once the download is complete run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and let the process complete now click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end here, you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder once again. In my case, it's in C drive. So open C drive, then program files x86. Now open Steam folder, then open Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find old world game folder. So open old world game folder in this is just an example select the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here now launch the game. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic cards. So if your computer came with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now select the game from the list. Now if you don't see the game over here, then click on browse. Now go to the game installation folder once again. So open Steam folder once again. Then Steam apps, common. And then open the old world game folder. Select the game exe file, then click on add. 
Now, once the game is added over here, this is just an example. So you will, once you add the old world exe file, you will see the icon for old world exe file. Click on the game, select options, select high performance, then click on save and now launch the game. Now the next step is to disable steam overlay. For this, go to steam, make a right click on old world game and then select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game. So uncheck this and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord running, close discord. Now if you have GeForce experience running, close GeForce experience. So close all the overlay application which is running on the computer. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI after burner running on the computer, close MSI after burner. Now if you have Riva tuner running, close Riva tuner. So close all the overclocking application and perform clean boot. For this type in system configuration in Windows search box, click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. So put a check over here and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on okay. You will see the restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64 versions. So click on both the exe file and run both the exe file that is x86 and x64 version. Now you, you might see install options. So click on install. If you see install, if you see repair, click on repair. Click on yes to allow. Run the second file as well. Again, click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once both the installation is complete, you will see the restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. So make sure both the installation is complete, only then restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after this and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to update your windows. Make sure your windows is up to date. This is important. So open start, uh, windows settings, then go to windows update or update and security, then click on check for update. And once updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to launch the game in window mode. So if you are able to launch the game, try launching the game in window mode, also lower down graphic setting. So if everything is set to ultra or high, you can select medium or low and then check the performance. Also disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have multiple monitor setup, try to launch the game on single monitor, disconnect multiple monitors, unplug all the USB devices, which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnected, also close all these software. So if you have this software running, so close everything except the steam and the game also end Nahimix services. So if you have ACES computer, Make a right click on the start menu, then click on task manager. Now over here, if you have ACES computer, you might see Nahimix services running. So if you see Nahimix services running, select it, then click on end task. This is just an example. So if you see Nahimix end the task, if you see lighting services running over here, select lighting services, then click on end task. Also remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your hardware, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different right. So first of all, go to Steam, make a right click on old world and then select manage and click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. First of all, after the uninstall, delete the game folder from the game installation folder, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drives. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.